Hi, in this video we'll have a look at how to add the Tboard chat widget to your stream. In Tboard at the bottom left there is a chat toggle switch. When you switch this on, Tboard automatically connects to the Twitch chat server and joins the room of the user or the channel that you are logged in with. Note that Tboard joins channel rooms anonymously, which means it is not logged in which also means it is in read-only mode. In case you have multiple users authorized with Tboard, when you switch from one user to another, it will automatically join the room of that user that you switch to. You will find the settings for the chat widgets under widgets chat. At the top, you will see the uh, channel that you will be joining. In this case, for this video, I have hard-coded it to join the Smite game channel because that channel is currently live and there is like, I think, a thousand people in there that just for this video, it's easier so I don't have to go and type in, in chat to actually see something. Below that, you have the status, which will uh, either show not connected or connected. That just depends on the uh, toggle switch here at the bottom left. Then something that I added as well is the ability to block or prevent messages from certain users and uh, chatbots like Nightbot and Moobot to uh, show on your stream. So simply click the edit button and you can add and remove uh, usernames here. And those are not case sensitive. And below that we have the settings that will determine how chat messages are displayed on your stream and those are font family and font size whether you want to sort the time whether you want usernames in all uppercase then the color of the usernames color of the text background color and the transparency of the background at the very bottom there are two buttons one test and one clear and they pretty much do what they say Test will send 20 messages to the widget and clear will um, remove all the text from the widget. So now it's time to see this thing in action. I'm going to click on the eye icon at the top left. This will open up the chat widget in a new window and it should display socket connected. And this means there is now a connection between the chat widget and keyboard so they can communicate with each other. As soon as I switch the chat toggle on, it will then connect, in my case, to the Smite Game chat channel. And it should display that in the widget as well. It says connected to Twitch IRC server and I joined the chat room Smite Game. As you can see, chat messages are now coming through. And I can go ahead and change things the way I want to, like remove the type. Note that the time and the uh, uppercase for the usernames, those are not affected directly. So those apply to new messages. As you can see here, there's a time and the next one does not have the time. So you can change uh, the coloring to something like this, change the transparency. Note that the transparent, because the uh, chat widget here is loaded on top of, of a white background. Like if I set this to zero, you will see that this is actually uh, white. I cannot make this fully transparent. But in OBS, once you add this to OBS, the white background will not be there. Okay, so if I click clear, this will simply clear all the messages and if I click test it will send 20 test messages directly to the chat widget there we go let's now go ahead and add the chat to OBS and to do so I'm gonna create a new global source so click on the global source button click on add CLR browser, I'm going to call this global chat, click on OK, 
and browse to the uh, chat HTML file within your user documents. Then click on open and fill in the size that you want the chat to be, which is 448 by 245, but this will depend on how big or small you want your chat to appear on the stream. And I recommend changing or defining the width and height here and not scaling the widget within OBS. So click on OK, click on OK. Now I'm going to add a new global source, global chat. Click on OK, and now we just wait for it to connect to a T-board. There we go. Edit scene, move it into place. Like this, and then I'm going to put it behind the overlay. And I'm done. Now let me quickly show you why you shouldn't scale the uh, source in OBS itself. So I'm going to add another CLR browser. Call it Big Chat, like this. I'm going to point it to the same HTML file. The height is going to be 720, the width, hmm, I'm not sure. Maybe three or 400, something like that. I'll click on OK. So it now added a larger version of the chat. I'm going to put it somewhere around here. And like I said, you don't want to scale it because if you scale it, you're also scaling the text or the size of the text. So if you make it bigger or smaller. And this will not look good on stream. So if I switch to a, maybe just put it beside that so you can actually compare. I'm going to switch to full screen now. As you can see, the text is barely readable now. So again, not a good thing to do. Um, position size, reset size. So if you really want to change the size of it, go to the source properties and make the changes here until you're uh, satisfied. Yeah, as you can see, it, every time you uh, make changes, it reinitializes. So let's now see what happens if we make some changes, like change the font. Oh, hold on, give me a second. I'll move this to my other monitor and switch to full screen here. There we go. So as you can see, as I change the font, it immediately changes in OBS as well. Same for the font size. I'm now going to show the time, so new messages will have the time applied to it. Change the coloring. Now I'm going to remove the background completely, so it is now set to zero, so it is now fully transparent. In case you're using XSplit, adding the chat is as simple as clicking the Add button, then add a media file, and instead of selecting the HTML file, you select the Swift file directly, which is in your user documents, keyboard, widgets, chat. Click on Open. And it connects to T-Board, socket connected. It, in T-Board, I already had the chat option set to on, so it automatically connects and joins the uh, chat room. So if I now make some changes to the coloring, I'll go back to the like, default, increase the background transparency, like so. 
And the uh, main difference between XSplit and OBS is that I can resize the source in XSplit directly and the font size will remain the same. Like that. Okay, that's pretty much uh, all there is to it. Thanks for watching and until next time.